Hello dear viewer, my name is Julie from Medihab. In this video, I want to show you how to flash the code using a mobile phone application. Before we start the video, I tell you about Medihab. We are providing real-time project support for various techniques. 1. Embedded system 2. Circuit design 3. VLSI 4. MATLAB and 5. PCB design we are a professional corporate trainer with extensive experience in training small and large groups. An expert at designing training courses with technical content, proven success in utilizing cutting edge technology and leveraging educational theories and methodologies to design training exercises for all types of learners. For any other details, please contact our web or visit the website info at the rate mevihub.com or www.mevihub.com Coming to over the topic, the application is devoted to updating flash memory of microcontroller STM32 by using programmer ST-Link. So what is it we need for work? The requirement. First, you need mobile device with OS Android. Second, the STM32 controller. Third, the ST-Link V2 module as shown in the above picture. Fourth, USB cable and connectors. Fifth, USB OTG cable. A note here, your mobile device must support USB OTG. Introduction about ST Link slash V2. The ST Link V2 is an in circuit debugger and programmer for the STM8 and STM32 microcontroller families. The single wire interface module SWIM and GTAG and serial wire debugging the SWD interfaces are used to communicate with any STM8 or STM32 microcontroller located on an application board. Introduction about USB OTG USB on the go or USB OTG or just OTG is a specification first used in late 2001 that allows USB devices such as tablets or smartphones to act as a host allowing other USB devices such as USB flash drives, digital cameras, mouse or keyboards to be attached to them. The use of USB OTG allows those devices to switch back and forth between the roles of a host and a device. A mobile phone may read from a remo removable media as the host but present itself as a USB mass storage device when connected to a host computer. First, install the ST-Link P application on our Android mobile phone. The application is available for free install from the Google Play Market or the Google Play Store. Next, it is need, needed a board with a microcontroller which will be updated. I have board Nucleo with microcontroller STM32 F303 and next it is needed programmer ST-Link. It can be as an original programmer from ST Microelectronics company such and China clone I'll use the programmer which embedded in board Nucleo. Programmer should be connected to the mobile device via USB OTG cable so your device must support an OTG technology. So let's start the program. Run the application first. Connect the cable and you can see the green indicator turn on. This indicates that the programmer is de defined by the application successfully. Just red power LED is shining on the board now. None of the other signs of life you could see in the microcontroller. So let's animate it and ask it to blink with a green LED 
which I connected to the board specially. The select file from firmware which should be previously loaded in the memory of the phone. The firmware can be in format FELE underscore name dot HEX just in a raw binary. I've prepared my demo version in format B underscore 16 underscore 12 HEX and select it. Start the process of uploading. Get message about successful uploading and the board has come to life and LED is blinking. So the process has passed well. As you see the process is easy enough, that's all for me. If you have some propositions, questions or criticisms, you can leave it in the comments. I'll respond to them as soon as possible. Thank you for viewing. Good luck to you.